Shalom, shalom. Welcome to another episode of You Are Not Wife Material. Man, in these episodes, these are simply case studies of how many women there are out there that are desperately desiring a good man, but a man won't come within 10 feet of them with the opportunity of marriage. You know, the Bible talks about those that uh, choose to live a lie, the Most High will send them a strong delusion because they love not the truth. And this is truly something that the older women need to understand and hear. It is your job, it is your assignment as an older woman to impart knowledge and wisdom and educate for righteousness sake the younger women. But this is the painful truth about the women out here that uh, have all these high expectations, uh, you know, for a man and they themselves are of no value. Now, if you are a man and you're watching this, you know, let me know down in the comments without being disrespectful. You know, how many of you are looking for a, uh, a woman or a wife like this? Let me know with a simple, I'm not, I wouldn't marry her or uh, I would marry her. And this is serving as a case study, you know, and this years from now will serve as a case study. And women can see in the comments that if they got that same mindset, they'll understand the importance of repentance. Repentance, turning from, you know, your former ways of ignorance, turning from your former, you know, life that did not bear fruit. And even still, man, a lot of these women are hoping and praying, but simply, they're too far gone. Roll that footage. Hello? You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, put the camera down so I can see your face. Oh, sorry, I'm breastfeeding too. You're, you're breastfeeding at this moment? Yeah. Where, where the baby daddy at? It's um, not around right now. You look at, how old is your baby? She's three weeks. Your baby's three weeks old? Yeah. Your baby's three weeks old? Yeah, she is. And you're looking for a man? Um. Well, yeah. Baby, you got a baby on your titty, and you're looking for a new man already. It doesn't necessarily have to go like a fast pace, but I am. What kind of man are you looking for, a girl, as you breastfeed? Um, someone. We gotta see your face, honey. Yeah. Now, yeah, cover your breast and cover the baby, but we gotta at least see your face. Um, just someone that's understanding. Um, just really someone I can just confide in, um, conversation wise. I want to ask you a serious question. You know someone's going to say you have a three-week-old baby that you are breastfeeding in this moment. What would you say to the guy that feels like that's a red flag? Um, I'm not looking for anyone to take care of my baby. Um, I do know that it's probably too soon for it. Um, but I'm not looking for a father for her. Uh, I know it's me saying it's probably crazy because I'm literally breastfeeding in the moment. But, yeah, I, I'm not looking for anyone to be a father. How old are you? What's your name? Um, I'm 23. Um, my name is Shalayan. I go by Shay. Shay, when did you and the baby daddy break up? Um, well, like a few months before I got uh, gave birth. Is he in the child's life? He uh, it's complicated. I'm I'm not gonna hold you up because uh, he just lost a a, a, a child, so uh, he's in and out rather. But I, I take care of her. Okay. Um, she's breastfeeding, so this is why I'm not going too hard on her with her not showing her face. But yeah, I don't want you to show your breast or the baby. Um. You know that there's going to be a lot of conversation about this. You got my worldwide international show. Yes, no, I do know. So what do you 